Hmm. Good. Hi, I'm Christian. This is Lazy Devs. Uh, let's load this uh, game that we're working on and let's just get going. So we're still working on this power up messages and power up percentage bar. Maybe that's something that comes later. Um, but the way we want to do those messages, perhaps, is by making those sashes appear that like make text fly in. This gives us like a lot of room to show something real quick um, to, to to put in some you know longer text. I was thinking maybe also doing like sometimes when you have like a one up, for example, you get like a little text floating up. Um, but I didn't. I thought like we have some really long words in there, and so that would mean that there was like a really big piece of text just somewhere where the action is happening right now. And so I thought this sash might be less obtrusive. Let's see if this works. So um, we have this text going on here, and I think something we can we have to do is um, we have to add more variables. I'm sorry, but we have to. Um, so. Um, we have a width and a and a destination width. So now we also have to have a text, a text x and text dx. So this is where the text is currently now, and where the text is supposed to go. Um, and so we have to animate this in a second as well. <coughs> so yeah, when the game when when you show the sash for the first time, the text is not supposed to be there yet. So we're gonna go sash. Um, t, t, tx equals, so now we have to uh, find out how long the text is. And that is going to be hashtag, hashtag the number of characters in our, te our text, which is going to be this, um, plus, uh, no, the, um, multiplied by four. Um, so yeah, this is how we know how where the position is or actually it's supposed to be. This is how long our text is, but we have to have it minus, so it appears, you know, off to the center, uh, off to the off to, off to the screen to the side, and this is also where. Um, and so now we have also put like a destination. So, TDX is that how we TDX right? Text destination X. No RDX. What? Why RDX? TDX. So where the text is supposed to go. Now this is where the text is supposed to go is a bit more difficult. <laughs> it's supposed to go. So this is the length of the text. We divide it by two and we make it floor. F -R 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 -R. Oops. F -R -R -R. So this is kind of like the half of the width of the text. So I guess times four divided by two is times two, I guess. So I guess we also don't have to really make it floor because it's on always going to be a uh, integer number. Oh, that's good. Okay, so but we're going to take, so this is kind of like the width of the text in pixels, um, but only the half of it. And then we're going to subtract 60 from this from 64 and this is going to be kind of like the upper left corner of the text um it's like if this is the center line we have to move it like half of the width of the text to the side so that's what we're doing here right now so this is where the text should land when it's when when the text flies in cool and so the only thing for us to do let's do the update um, this is going to be same thing as animate text it's going to be same same function as um, as um, the, as where we animate the um, the width of the sash Easy. So the animation is already happening. This is really just the same text. We just um, swapped the variables. I hope they swapped all, all of the variables, but it seems to be. Okay, and then uh, when we draw the text, when we draw everything, we just gonna go um, print. What are we printing? A 
usage text. Uh, then the x coordinate is going to be sash tx. The y coordinate is 64 minus, so it's, let's just assume it's it's 5, but let's assume it's so, so minus 2. Let's, let's go like this, so 62, I guess. Let's see if this works. <coughs> and then What do we need? Uh, oh, I guess the color, right? So, um, so that's going to be. Let's make it always white, and then we can maybe have to also specify the, the color of the text. Let's see about that. Uh, right, and then one more thing, of course, when we when the sash is supposed to disappear, then of course we also want text to disappear. So we're going to go sash tdx equals um, hundred twenty eight. It it worked. I like this. Um, maybe something um, the width is a little bit too high. So let us set it to six. Let's see how this works. This is great. It it, it works. Uh, one thing I w also wanted to do is maybe d um, add delays. Um, so because now you can see when the text is flying away, the sash closes before the text is gone. And I don't like this. So um, let's go delay um, sash delay with W and sash delay text. Um, that allows us to um, delay the text or the the you know animation of the width and depending on um, because we might want to delay both of them as you can see there's a lot of variables just for this little stupid animation but you know this is it will pay off it will pay off i can tell you so first we want to delay the text by 10 when the, t uh, the sash first appears because you want first the width to go up and then you want the text to fly in right let's delay it really fast really really hardcore and then if you animate stuff and you want the opposite you want to delay the width and you don't want to delay the text so here we are animating stuff and so here what we want to do is uh, if now we have to actually apply the delay so if sash delay w is greater than zero then something happens Otherwise, animate. Like so. Uh, what the thing that happens is going to be just delay uh, minus equals one. And so we're going to do the same thing with the text as well. Uh, if there is a text delay that we have to uh, take, take into consideration, we're going to actually apply it, else animate. I know I'm cranking out this code like crazy, but it's like this little tiny little animation. I want to actually get it done in this one episode. Um, I think this worked. Um, something I would maybe do is um, make the sash appear for a little bit longer. So let's go 90 and 120 here. I think one second is a little bit too, 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 too quick. Did, was it just me or did, did the thing just disappear? Let's try it again. No, it just disappeared. I don't know why. Huh. Oh, because we always set the delay. Mm. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, got it, got it.
Um, so how are we going to do? Uh, so let's just make it to when it's exactly 90. Oops. So it's just one frame. Wait, that didn't work. Yeah, it just disappeared again. Hmm. Oh, right, right. The delay is too crazy because... Um, yeah, let's, let's try this now. Yeah, that's better now. Um, maybe the delay is a bit too, too crazy indeed. Let's let us make it smaller. Okay, and uh, now this entire thing is a little bit too slow. So let us make it like this. Yeah, this is good. This this seems seems more ni nice and snappy. Maybe uh, now tweaking stuff a little bit. I think the sash closes at a good speed, but I feel like the text should move a little bit slower. Okay, now it's a little bit too slow. And also when you move the text out, um, it kind of slows down at the edge. And I don't like this because then you still see the text for a very long time. So let us go um, here, 260, uh, 160. So we are trying to make it uh, the text uh, stop, you know, very far off screen. So it disappears more quickly. Yeah, that's, that's good. I would love to actually see the sash at, at the very beginning, so I don't have to like always restart this um, this level. So let me let me show this real quick. <clears throat> when we also start the game, so see your start game, serve ball, show sash. Yeah, that's good. One more time. Um, showing the the thing a little bit for too long, I feel. Let us cut down by five frames. Uh, maybe like this. That's good. Okay, um, so yeah, we can now start using the sash for other things. So this is now the exciting part where we can be like, okay, so if this is working, what else can we do with the sash? Um, mm. So I was thinking where we're we picking up um, a brick power up get, right? right? We can do like slow down. Slow down, exclamation point. Um, what is going to be the color of the slow down? What was it again? That was orange, right? So that was nine. Oops. Um, extra life. I kind of like this. Um, you also you get a, like a nice confirmation that oh I'm doing something, but at the same time you also um, this kind of like a manual because you know the, those power ups are color coded, but you don't know what they actually do, actually do, um, and some of them might be like really obtuse. So with this kind of stuff, you actually. Um, sticky pedal. Um, 
with this kind of stuff, we can actually inform the player of what the different power-ups do. <clears throat> Expand. Uh, that's um, 12. Reduce. Uh, so this one is going to be black zero here. Yeah. Mega ball. Right. I just realized probably have to also uh, control the color of the. This is not four. This is eight. Uh, the color of the text because I just realized that um, you know this guy this will be just white on white so we have to also control the color of the text but that's you know that's not a problem um what was uh, mega ball um yeah red a eight right that's eight eight yeah and then this was multiple mm, and that is going to be 10. So sure, let us let us also add a functionality for changing the color of the of um, of our sash text. Let's call it sash tc <coughs> text color. And so here, where we're drawing this. We're going to use sash tc for this and here where we are creating this we're going to go oops uh, comma underscore tc and so the sash tc is going to be the underscore tc uh, and also yeah so where whenever you use the sash this is going to be seven seven is the white one right it's the white here um this is where start game um, same thing for next level where is next level come on man there we go seven and then of course then we're gonna go down to the um, get... power up get there we go and so we're going to start adding the different colors here. So this one is going to be, what is this again? Slow down. So slow down is, has nine as color. No, four. Uh, this one has, that's extra life. That's going to be this light gray, six. Um, this is going to be sticky paddle. That's probably going to be three, right? Is that three? Nope, it's, it is three, yeah. Um, starting to remember all those colors. Expand is going to be, one um, reduce is going to be is, that was red right eight mega ball is going to be a that's, that's this 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 one this color two multi ball is going to be uh, i think this is the orange one nine okay let's try this Look how, how game it looks. Ah. Oh, that was pretty good. Uh, it's kind of nice. It's, it's kind of okay to, to cancel it. Oh, the Mega Ball looks so nice. Give me another up power up. Yeah, reduce again. Yes. I knew it. This is good. This is work this is working. 
Okay, of course, we uh, usually we won't have that, that many up updates at the same time. Something I wanted to do is also there. I think it's still a bit too wide. The sash is too wide. Let's make it a bit slimmer. Yeah. Um, also, the delay at the beginning of the text is a bit too too much. Let's let's make it down to fifteen. I want it to fly in faster. Still, maybe just five frames. Yeah, that's better. You want to have like an immediate feedback from when, when you pick it up, and you don't want to want to wait unnecessarily. Oh man, this looks very video gamey now. Um, yeah, seems to be working so far. Maybe we need some 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 nicer text for this. I don't know, not exactly sure. Maybe also uh, an update function because now the text flies in faster, it stays for longer. So maybe we can reduce the text the 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 length of the entire sash in general. <clears throat> So um, instead of 90, we go 80 here, and instead of 130, we go 120. I think we can go even further. 75, 115. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Maybe the width of the sash even less. Let's see how how we are looking with four. I mean, it's still it's still okay. Good. This is this is becoming a really nice nice game. Oh, I wanted to wanted to oh, that's good, that's good. Extra life Nice This is working, everything is working. Oh my gosh um yeah so now that we have the sash we can do some 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 additional cool stuff so for example something i wanted to maybe do is when you uh when you reach when you do some kind of like um when you reach a certain chain you go like oh this is sick um and so let me see how, what is the maximum chain uh where do we do where, where exactly are we doing this so hit break right Plus chain, right? Where, where are we doing chain? So when, when we reach maximum chain, did we never, do we, are we never, is that never something that we check for? Or 
I think we, it's never so. Oh no, there we go, there we go. We make sure that's never. Yeah, okay. If combo, then yes, yes. Wait a minute. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we're gonna create our own our own function for this. Hmm. Boost chain. We're gonna call this boost chain. Because there's a lot of text that will go in here and I don't want to repeat the same text over again. Function boost chain increase chain by by one it seems easy but um, it's not not as easy as you might think so this is the, the code that we need here chain equals <clears throat> Okay, but before we increase, if chain is six, then and, and if, so if if we go from chain six to seven, we want to show once the sick message. The problem is that if we had like if chain equals um, seven after we increased it, then we would get the sick um, message over and over again. Um, but um, right like this, it's gonna be it's gonna be just once. So let's make it. Um, let's make it. Uh, what what is a good color? I don't know. Let's make it blue. It's okay. Twelve. And dark blue on it. Code is so sick. Uh, yeah, and then so this um, this function gets executed here every time we are actually increasing the chain. Oh, no, not twice. Once is, is enough. So you know what this means. Now we have to actually play the game and see if we can actually make this a message appear. <laughs> I could create like a specific level for this, but maybe I can I can make it work without it. Mega ball. Oh neat! Oh, it's it's over already. <laughs> Mega ball and and catch and slow is are both bad combos. Okay, let's try to change the trajectory here. Yes, that was good. Oh no, I didn't want to die. Oh. I didn't want to die. <laughs> Nobody wants to, but we have to sometimes. Yes. Come on, chain three. We can do it better. Have you seen my, my crazy skills here? Oh man, maybe I, I really have to. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna actually create a level that, that is conducive to this, to this kind of stuff. Okay, so this goes out, this is... <clears throat> Let's copy this guy. So what I want to do is, um, so the power up we're gonna remove. Uh, this one is gonna be I. And we're gonna remove 
one of those blocks and we're gonna do a slash in here. So just like a little game, let's see if this works. Oops, something was wrong. Um. Oh yeah, we haven't actually created any levels now. <laughs> Yeah, so here are the indestructible blocks, and if I get my ball in there... Yeah. Some patience will be required. Yes, now. Eventually, eventually. Oh, what? Okay, well now I can just shoot it in there. Oh no! Oh. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, it actually went out. Oh no! Oh, look at the skill shot! Skill, 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 skill shot! <laughs> oh, this is so good. Hmm. Well, that deserves definitely a high score list. No. Beautiful. Ah, look at this high score. Beautiful. Okay, guys. So uh, this is it for this episode. We made the sash work. Um, if we look at our let's let's see if we save this. So if you look at our to-do list, so we have the power-up messages already working. Something that's not working is this power-up percentage bar. So um, maybe we're just gonna skip this. Maybe we don't need this. Um, the only problem, because the problem is that I'm having is. Um, how many there's I think like three different power ups that that have like a, like a timer and I don't really have a good place to put them to be honest like we would, might have to like reserve some space but then that space is kind of unused most of the time so maybe maybe we're not gonna actually do anything with that um yeah, so maybe it's going to be just like you, you have to develop a feel for it. So let's just maybe not do this for now. Uh, or I'm going to put it in our... Um, in our... in our good to have. So I'm going to, I'm going to put it in our... Um, so that, that was kind of like the result of my thinking in, in between the episodes. I don't know if, if, if there's a good place to do this i mean we could like you know we, we could like create an overlay like um here right? we don't actually see like underneath the lives there could be like a little percentage bar that 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 shows you but um then you know again if you have like two uh, power ups running at the same time then you have to kind of stack them and there's going to be like a lot of code uh, to do something that might not really actually be that necessary and I'd rather, and not really, it's also not something that's actually fun, you know, it's not like something that was like you go like, oh, wow, this is so good that we have like this percentage bar. It's kind of like, it's more of a like a um, quality of life improvement, perhaps, if you're like really one gunning for, for like very strategic play. And I feel like with our sashes, we already have like enough feedback that we were picking up the the power ups so that this little little info up there might not be necessary so i'm thinking maybe not doing this um so yeah so that makes um there's still something one thing i want to do maybe with ui and that is um I, I mean it won't take too much so we can maybe actually do it right now so something i don't like is um i, w I would love to um, put the stage on top it might not be uh, possible but at least that chain multiplier 
and have like a one X, you know, instead of the, the full chain. So let's, let's, let's do this. How does the chain work, by the way? Have we figured this out? I, I, it was like the, this is a long time ago since I did the, the chain. So it's, yeah, so it's just like a, oh, there, there's a points multiplier. What's the points multiplier? Where, where is the points mold? By the way, this is actually not good code because what is the points mold? It's one. Well, Yeah, this is not good code because if um, if we ever have points multiplier like two, for example, then the chain multiplier is going to be one, right? I mean, what does the chain usually start with? There, with one. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, okay, so when we're drawing things, your chain, instead of drawing chain, I want to just go chain double double x. Oh, it, it actually already was x. Hmm, interesting. Um, so let's put it 120. Let's see if this looks good. Yeah, that's good. See, this is a little better now. It seems like the only problem is maybe I want to put it behind the behind this uh, next to the score. <coughs> so maybe move the score a little bit to the side. Um, yeah, it says score. I thought it was, it's, it's set. That was a bug. So maybe I have to do the... No, don't go out! <laughs> oh, this game is getting really good. Why you do this to me? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to deal with this. sick give me the sick no uh, so why is this happening I wonder that's why we hear I think it's uh, update ball because there is a, a thing where if it collided already then we're gonna skip this <clears throat> 
So maybe it, it has to do with this. Where does the ball collide with bricks there? Yeah, brick hit, hit brick. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So I'm guessing this has nothing to do with it. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to probably um, actually do the the in improved collision detection. I think that's something we have to do. Power up, um, better collision. Yeah, we have to do this. Okay, guys, but uh, for now, we're going to end this episode. Uh, we have a really nice juicy game going on. Uh, I think the UI we can, uh, we, can, we can actually leave behind now. And so the next part, probably I will spend some time designing some levels. And then I will talk a little bit about what, what my thoughts were, how I designed the levels. And then we can start tweaking the gameplay and stuff, start playing the game a little bit. Um, and uh, oh yeah, and also maybe I want to change, the, um, edit the sprites. Let's do that maybe next. Added, adding sprites for the actual pedal <coughs> and the ball. And so yeah, like, okay, so we're gonna, actually gonna talk about um, things that we can actually program because this part, this level design and, and, and gameplay tweaks, that's something that um, that's we that I, I'm not gonna do gonna do live. I'm not gonna design the levels live because this, they will might take some some time. Cool. So yeah. So let's do the sprites next. Uh, finish up the sprites and do some decorations for for like text box and stuff like that. See you next time around, guys. Bye bye.